Why dieting will never work for you? After we are born, first we sort out the oxygen problem. Once we work out how to breathe it in, the very next thing that we look for is food. From that moment henceforth, food plays a deep and meaningful role in our lives. Every time we get upset during those first few years, chances are we'll have a nipple, either fake or real, stuffed into our mouth to soothe us, and often it works. Think of the association we build between feeling better or being soothed and food. Every major celebration involves food. Often enough, they evolve around food. Graduations, weddings, Christmas, Easter and even funerals are not complete without food. And of course, there is the most important day of the year for all of us, our birthday. What would you think of your birthday party if there was no food or no birthday cake? Think about the key role of the cake. It holds the candles that when lit triggers the singing and hoorahing. As children, when we were given a treat by parents and influential adults, Often it was food, or food was a key part of it. There are few special activities that don't involve food. What will a trip to the movies or theme park be without popcorn, sweets, or soft drinks? These celebrations or special times are when we relax and have fun. Fun and food become closely connected and live side by side in our minds and in our lives. Each celebration cements this relationship further. Some events such as graduations are very important landmarks, so the food now comes packaged with respect. As we get older, alcohol is added to the mix, further intensifying the link between fun and food. With alcohol comes sexual fluctuation. As Shakespeare reminded us, drink, it added to the desire, but it taken away the performance. Then when we add the excitement of sexual flirtation and the pleasure and pride of dressing up, you can see that food is now keeping some mighty powerful company in our lives. With each celebration, each party, each treat, the connection that we each have to food is given more depth and more meaning. By the time we reach adulthood, the association between food and having a party is immensely established and deep in our minds. Food becomes one of the ultimate forms of reward that we can experience as a human being. Eating becomes party time. For many of us, food is absolutely the ultimate form of reward in our day-to-day -day lives. More specifically, certain foods come to represent party time better than others. Chocolate will be the old faithful in this regard. Think about the foods that cause us the most problems. Your favorite stock on the weight foods. How many of them are the foods you typically tried or find at a party? For many people I work with, eating their favorite or forbidden foods is really an escape from their stressful lives into their own brief little party. If you start to think through the lost few kilograms and paragraphs, I think you can see that the problem that arises when our doctor tells us that we can't eat those foods, that we have to stop eating our favorite unhealthy foods, that becomes one of those times that you start thinking this person has to be crazy. Consciously, we think that it is not, a, with, consciously we think that it's a good idea. We all want to be healthy and lose weight, but deep inside in our subconscious, which is in our heart, a much more powerful voice is quietly but firmly saying, nice idea, but it's not going to work. Too many sacrifices in that plan. It's a bit like being told that now you're going to party or have to give up fun for the remainder of your living times. And that's why diets don't work for most people. The minute people start dieting, for most of them, that becomes the beginning of a very quiet rebellion. Find out why the dream body fitness approach is totally different from what your doctor tells you and what your dietitian tells you. Book your nutrition workshop today on www.dreambodyfitness.co.za. 
I hope to see you soon.